We're looking at lemonade berry, Rus integrifolia. It's one of my personal favorites. It's called lemonade berry because early settlers and Native Americans used the plant to make a kind of an acidic drink like lemonade. Uh, we'll show you the uh, uh, fruits on this plant in a moment and how that was accomplished. One of the interesting facts about this plant, which is really found on all of the Channel Islands uh, except for Santa Barbara Island, it's also down on the Mexican Islands and it's also uh, on the mainland, uh, one of the interesting facts about it is that it's in the same family as uh, poison oak, the sumac family, Anacardiaceae. So people who are sensitive to poison oak probably shouldn't uh, rub up against the leaves of this plant and certainly shouldn't drink lemonade made from this plant. Basically, once you put these fruit in water, this sticky substance uh, gets into the water and uh, people have added ice and a little bit of sweetener and they end up with a lemonade-like um, uh, tasting uh, drink. But again, if people are allergic to poison oak, and they may not even know that they're allergic to poison oak, say highly sensitive to it, maybe more than the rest of us, this could conceivably make them sick. So I wouldn't uh, encourage people to uh, try it. Well, in this site by the corral, the, the lemonade berry actually kind of uh, illustrates how much of scorpion appears to be changing from a non-native grassland more to a native scrubland. So most of the plants that you see on this hillside, the dark green plants anyway, are lemonade berry, whereas the uh, golden colored grasses are non-native European grasses. So now that the sheep have been removed or been gone from the island for nearly 12 years now, you're seeing more and more of this in Scorpion Canyon where uh, native shrubs are moving in in places where they uh, hadn't before uh, been in large numbers. So it's kind of neat to see how lemonade berry is sort of being a pioneer plant here, moving in um, in what was just a grassland. Ultimately, when you have uh, plants like this in here, you attract things like birds and, and other animals who use the plants as a cover. They make a much better cover, better place to breed and feed and hunt, uh, raise uh, young, uh, than do the grass um, uh, areas alone. And with more and more birds coming into places like this, they tend to drop seed of other species. So you uh, will ultimately end up with a uh, interesting mixture of uh, plants. Uh, greater diversity is uh, better for the critters that live here.